Hello, everybody. This is Captain Sweep's five-minute message of the day. And I was pondering. I was sending a message to the Rev and uh, trying to figure out our connection, our relationship. And it's so easy to get sort of caught up in things. It's so easy to... Is get lost in everything. We lose touch with ourselves, who we are, what we want, what we want to do. And there's this big picture out there. And we as an individual have some sort of connection to it. And I know I have these grand plans, schemes, <laughs> visions of how humanity could interact in business differently than we are currently doing. One based upon love rather than based upon fear. And this might seem like a pipe dream and I may come across as crazy. But at the end of the day, each of us has just ourselves to deal with. Of course, we have all our relationships too. But it, it strikes me as very poignant that you have the individual and the collective. And then if you're raising states of consciousness, as Ken Wilber has seen, that the ever upward spiral is going back and forth between the individual and the collective. The individual and the collective. The individual and collective. And there's different types of beings within them. Like who am I as part of a group and who am I within my own identity? Who am I as part of a group and who am I within my own identity? And I think each human being is constantly in a state of bewilderment regarding our interactions with all the other human beings. And now, because of what is occurring on the planet right now, we have a lot of time to ponder just who we are and what we're doing and why we're doing it. And, and you, you may be asking yourself, You know, the essential questions, you know, who am I, why am I here, what am I supposed to do, how do I make a living, you know, who do I interact with, you know, why do I interact with them, how do we communicate, what happens when we communicate. And you may or may not have a belief or confidence that things are going in the manner that you would like. And I would suggest to you that uh, you really have to clearly define. You, know, you really have to know exactly what you want. Go into your personal space and really think, feel, sense, whatever it is you do, and come up with your ideal. You know, how do you want to live your life? Really reflect on this. You know, that's your starting point. Because until, until you know, if you don't know that, you're sort of always <coughs> reacting to everyone else around you. And when you have a, a clearly defined ideal, you can then communicate and interact with other, with other humans in a different manner 
than if you don't. If you haven't defined your ideal life, if you haven't defined where you want to go, if you haven't defined who you want to be, we're sort of in this current or stream of life and things are happening all around you and you may feel a little lost as an in individual. And you're wondering why all these things are happening around you and you're, and you're, and you're sort of trying to figure out how to sort of get what you want, right? I mean, there's this kind of life where you just go along and everything is as it is. People phone you, people drop by. But deep inside you, there's this being that needs expression. There's this you that's just you, right? And not many humans or people are probably coming in and saying, you know, well, who are you? What do you want? What do you want to do with your life? And we have this inner world. We're constantly having thoughts and we're having feelings. And we don't generally share these with other people. We keep these to ourselves and, and we, we tend to keep it inside and then we give the world an impression of who we are. But we don't generally be honest about the, the truth, what we really feel or what we really think because we don't trust that these people are going to honor that and to treat you well. Do you know what I mean? So, I know I'm looking a bit orange here and <laughs> maybe a bit funny and maybe a bit slow and maybe I'm not you know, entertaining you enough, but I just, the message of the day is is just, you know, I, I would like you to sort of honor your own being, honor who you are, and know that you are a like a cell in the mind of a being that is so much more than all of this. You know, there's a lot more to, to life than what normal schools and books and paintings allude to. There's, there are so many things that are trying to get your attention. And I know I'm, I'm trying to get your attention by even saying this. You know, I would listen to an orange man. But, I, but I'm speaking to every individual human being. And if you see this, I just want you to know that, you know, that I've had an experience with this being and it's, it's an incredible experience and all you have to do is sort of go inside and say, hello, I'm here, um, can I speak with you? And then that starts the communication up to you. It's, it may be sound, it may be light, it may be, it could be anything. I mean, everything's kind of alive. Everything responds when you pay attention to it. And your mind is the focus of your attention. It's like you're listening to me now. Your mind is focused here. You're listening to my voice. What is that which is the awareness that is following my tone of voice? You know, that's you. And whoever you are, you know, 
minds and individuals back in the mind of God, whatever that is. But it's beautiful because you have individual identity, you have free choice, you have the ability to do what you want, be what you want. Isn't that wonderful? As humans, we, we have this exist, exist, existence, we have this consciousness, you know, we see, we feel, we hear, you know, we are a, a thing. <laughs> but sometimes we're not quite sure just what we are. Why are we here? It's, it's a great exploration. It's a magnificent journey. And I think, you know, all the prophets are, I mean, to me, anyone who, who comes to a conclusion about what life is about, it's about how you treat people and how you're treated, you know. That's it. Everything else is you know, your choice of what you're going to do, what you're going to believe, who you think you are. But this God, or whatever this being is, and who knows, I mean, it's beyond me, seems to have some sort of uh, interest in what we do with what we have. And it's up to us to decide on what we're going to do. And so it's like you're always being watched by some benevolent being. And you either believe that or not, you either know that or not, or you have a experience where let's say a big guy comes in and he goes, hello, like every cell every part of your existence is looking at you and you're like, what is that? You know, then you look at everything different and go, oh, um, okay. I think I'm going to uh, assess things differently now.